A variety of options for hair removal are available, such as waxing, threading, and shaving. But laser hair reduction is widely used for men and women. It is a medical procedure that uses a specific laser beam to destroy the hair follicle that produce hair by converting the energy to heat without cause any damage to the surrounding skin, as it only targets the melanin in the hair. Laser hair removal treatment is performed when the hair follicles are actively growing. There are four major hair growth cycles or phases, anagen, catagen, telogen, and exogen. The laser can only destroy the hair follicles during the anagen phase, or we call it a growth phase. Since our hair is detached in the other phases, laser hair removal does not have any effect on it and it is the longest phase. So only around 15 to 20% of the hair would be on this stage during one laser session. This meaning only 15% of the follicles will be destroyed. The anagen stage usually lasts about four to six weeks on our bodies. We space sessions every four to six weeks to match the hair growth cycle. Any less than four weeks would be ineffective as we are not giving the hair enough time to grow and shed. Best results from laser hair removal are when at least eight sessions are performed and the intensity of the machine is raised slightly higher in each time. Evaluation at the initial consultation is important to check the right candidate for this treatment. Choose an appropriate handpiece or a laser wavelength depends on the skin type and hair color, as well as the hair thickness. Also, taking the medical and personal history is essential, as some medical issues can affect the result, like PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, hormonal imbalance, history of tanning or keloid, and if taking any medication that will make the skin more photosensitive and could interfere with the treatment. I want to mention that the laser is FDA approved for hair reduction, not removal, and no procedure can guarantee a permanent hair removal. Most people can expect 60 to 70% reduction in hair growth. The number of sessions needed for hair reduction is different from person to other, as the hair growth can be affected by multi factors, such as age, skin type, hormones, and genetics. While this is not a permanent solution, it does delay future hair growth, as after the initial full course of treatment, there should be a little hair regrowth will require future maintenance session to sustain hair reduction. The important things to remember before every session to avoid any side effects are no waxing, tweezing, bleaching, or doing electrolysis prior to the treatment because the hair is required to be present as a target. Shaving one to two days before to avoid epidermal injury from absorption of the laser by hair on the surface of the skin. Avoid exposing the area to sun or tanning bed. If there is any recent sun exposure, laser treatment should be postponed at least one week before the session, depending on the degree of the tan, to minimize potential side effect. Don't apply any perfume, deodorant on the area which will be treated. Avoid more combat or extreme rubbing or peeling two weeks before the laser session. Laser hair reduction considered painless procedure with no downtime. You may notice a mild redness and swelling for the first few hours after your session. Cold compression may be applied to reduce. It's important not to take hot bath or wear makeup for 24 hours after the procedure and to avoid sun exposure one to two weeks and use a proper sunscreen with SPF 50. Avoid any kind of skin irritant or use of any kind of peeling at least seven days after. Talking about the side effect, there's a short-term side effect 
which are temporarily and can dissolve in few days or weeks, including redness, swelling, purple, blistering, and temporary or maybe permanent discoloration like hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation, especially on those with darker skin. And there are some rare side effects as a scarring. It's possible if I had a personal or family history of keloids. Infection is unusual, but hypersemplex virus or zoster infection can occur following a laser treatment. Unsatisfactory result. Although a good result are expected, there is no guarantee on the result that may be obtained. Some hair may be resistant to the laser treatment or may grow again after the treatment. Paradoxical hypertrichosis. It's adverse effect of laser hair removal. It's an increase in the hair density, color or coarseness at or near the treated area in the absence of any other known causes. The incidence ranges from 0.6% to 10%. So it's a big percent. So most commonly happen on the face, upper shoulder and neck. Oil laser and light source have the potential to cause hair induction. The treatment for paradoxical hypertrichosis is laser therapy of the affected area. Complications are rare with a proper person selection and the proper treatment parameters.